If you still have tension and uh, stiffness in your wrist uh, that you've been trying to overcome for years and you've heard so many times from your teachers um, to release tension in your wrist, to make it more flexible, to, uh, to breathe with your wrist, but you still cannot get it, <laughs> this video is for you. It has an um, in-depth explanation about each and uh, every movement, including very detailed illustrations and demonstrations. And before I start, I want to say that correct wrist and hand movements are entirely based, connected to sound movement. Meaning that even if you're not going to imagine anything while playing, to know exactly the direction of each note in the score is absolutely essential for correct tone production, uh, for playing without stiffness, for playing with good quality tone. And because this video is about how to play with correct movements using intonation and weight, there will be a couple of clips in the description below about this musical means of expression. Now let's get started. Uh, so let me give you some overview of uh, what we're going to do in this video. So first we're going to go through the chart of all the movements combinations. Then we're going to see how it works with simple exercises. And I've chosen hand exercises. I think they're really the best to illustrate this technique. And then lastly, we're going to apply all of this in Chopin's A-flat major next room. Okay, so let's take a look at the chart. And from the bottom to the top, the first ones um, are called a line. And it's just movements when we play without intonation and weight. It always looks and feels two-dimensional, very flat, without you know space, without three dimension. And um, all the next ones after that are called a roll and a swing. And as you can see, um, they already got some volume, some space and movement, because these are the movements for intonation and weight. So let me quickly play um, uh, through all of them. So um, same direction notes, meaning both notes goes to the right, let's say without elbow movement. So you go note, wrist to the right, note, wrist to the right, so basically almost on one stroke. Now um, with elbow movement, when we need to change position, let's say we're going to play with the same finger. As you can see, gray arrows um, mark elbow movements, so it's going to go wrist to the right and elbow to the right. Okay, so it looks this way. And of course down and go left and with the elbow as well. Now if we have opposite direction notes without elbow, let's say we play just this. So it's going to go wrist right and then you press the key and only then you uh, move your wrist, it's very important, not before you move wrist and then play the note. And if we have elbow movement again, let's say CD, maybe even with the same finger. So C, wrist to the right and elbow to the left, D, wrist to the left. Um, the next one are rolls. So uh, let's see again, this movement, same direction notes, without position change. Um, so you play B and then you make this kind of loop at the end, I call it a row. And then right at the bottom of it, as soon as you reach it, you play the next note. And you make the same loop, so. And again, let me tell you that when you're going to really apply the intonation and weight, then this down movement gonna be passive. So, you know, yeah, I'll show you. And this goes by itself already. I make some effort here and this goes by itself already, okay? Now, same direction now is elbow movement and a small shift. Um, small shift, well, let's say I'm playing this. Uh, it's kind of a little bit bigger than fifth, which is one position, so it's still okay. So basically, when I go to the roll, my elbow also goes to the right. Same direction notes, elbow movement in a big leap. Let's say we need to play CC. They are both to the right. And in I call it roll up, as you can see. So instead of going up, it's just flat at the end. And I move, I wrist and elbow, and next note. And again, little note here. Um, when you just, you know, 
upload correct movements in the very beginning, I suggest to make exactly this way. This is exactly how you would play if, for example, the notes are legato. Now, if they are staccato or tenuta or accent, or it could be, you know, this note is the end of the phrase and you kind of take a little breath, inhale, before starting the next phrase. So again, this little um, break here. Then naturally, this essential movement will uh, become really different. So for example, with tenuta, my hand will naturally go to the up. Okay, X on the same. Uh, staccato is actually very interesting. Instead of going this, I'm kind of going this way. So it's up, right away. And the same, like non legato, I don't know, non legato also. Just at the end, I'm gonna lift a little bit. But again, do not make this way from the beginning. It will be altered, like, like I said, naturally when you go into it with correct articulations. Okay. Um, Mm, the last one are swings, opposite direction notes, no position change. All right, let's see if we have this. So now, so I'm going kind of up, and in the bottom of this swing slash smile, I'm playing another note. So if I'm just about to play this, it looks like this. Again, when I really use intonation and weight, this down movement again becomes pass passive. So this is active, this is passive, active, passive. Now, opposite direction notes, elbow movement um, in small shifts as well as in large leaps. Uh, let's say we need to play from C to D. Okay. And then, as you can see, gray arrow elbow to the left. And then again, we start a new swing and the bottom of the swing. So that's how it works. And um, lastly, let me just tell you something. These movements are only for slow tempo. So if you need to play something fast, and we're gonna go through this, you don't make all these movements, of course, but if you need to play it slow, I mean, we always start with a slow tempo. So if in slow tempo, you know, you gather weight, you start with intonation, then you start playing this way, like you would play in fast tempo, you prevent yourself from passing, from transferring weight to the keyboard. So in the first step, it's basically <sighs> inevitable. You, know, you cannot escape it. You have to make this movement in slow tempo. Now, when you go to the faster, let's say not this, but let's say this very medium, <laughs> kind of it's still slow, but yeah. Um, all these rolls and swings will become lower, and this is important to understand. They're not becoming smaller with the same amplitude. They're becoming, you know, like if you want to stretch image in the computer, uh, everything becomes like stretched. So they become flatter, they become lower. Let's say rolls becomes kind of ellipse, like this I go instead of this. And the swings becomes almost a line or at least not that extreme anymore. So if I will play, for example, uh, this in slow tempo, it looks like this way, right? And I go faster, now I have an ellipse. Or I have this in slow tempo, big swings, and now I'll go faster, they're more flat, almost like a line. Okay, so that's how it works. Now let's go to the um, hand on exercises. Oh yeah, and the last thing. <laughs> I know what I'm explaining, it's very, <laughs> could be complicated in the beginning, but I promise you, as soon as you just, I mean, go through this very uh, intellectually, uh, let's say through one piece, then the hand, uh, the ha our hands are smart, they will pick up the right movements and next piece you're gonna play, you don't have to, you know, analyze everything so badly. Your hand will already pick up everything and um, you will just make the correct movements just guided by your intuition. So, of course, I'm not ever analyzing anything like this. It actually took me some time to actually analyze what I'm doing and to put it so clear in this book. Um, even if I'm sight reading, I'm just naturally doing these movements.
First, let's play this exercise without uh, intonation with making just two dimensional movements. And um, just a note <laughs> here, if a note is higher than previous one, the movement of this note is to the right. C to the right. If a note is lower than previous one, the movement of this note is to the left. B is to the left. Um, and uh, one more thing, um, all the wrist movements illustration in this video, you need to read from the bottom to the top, just like in the chart. <laughs> just not to get confused. <laughs> okay, so um, I don't know, should I play both hands here? Okay, let's play both hands. Maybe even here so you can see clearly. <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm playing without addition and wait. Let's go. And then together with the wrist, elbow goes together with the wrist to the left elbow goes to the right and you see it's like almost robotic there is no breathing nothing just the right hands forward and back and go okay now before using intonation and weight let's make some preparation and um, let's just try to imitate wrist movements that you would make while playing with intonation and again just like i said uh, the down motion of the wrist will become more passive and natural when we're going to actually intonate while playing so right now it's going to be maybe a little bit artificial but it's okay so um, i'm going to play slowly now and say a roll or swing and comment on elbow movement and, uh, and don't really mind this uh, red uh, dots because um, it, uh, I marked it just to show the beginning of every bar, so it's not that important. Okay, so all of them are great. <laughs> Swing. Oh, what is it? Roll an elbow. Roll. intonation and weight and to avoid this common mistake that stops weight when we bring our hand to the keyboard without elbow or we lift up elbow and then we drop together the, the entire hand I suggest to make this one exercise elbow up wrist up length elbow up wrist up length and make it many many times till we get completely comfortable with this movement <laughs> And then that exaggerated movement will work perfectly to create inner sensations in our muscles when we're going to make this movement in a regional size. So let's say I'm about to play piano. I get the weight. Or forte. So the movement is a little bit bigger, but that's what you get after you get completely familiar with this funny movement. <laughs> now let's get a weight um, and start actually playing with intonation and weight. Mind you, all the movements will become lower, flatter. And 
last time let's play fast and so like I said we don't need to make any of those movements anymore so we just make basically one line up and down yet the wrist will feel free and um, all the weight will be successfully conveyed to the keyboard while playing so and basically I'm gonna make just this movement while playing fast <laughs> the same steps with the second hand uh, example mm, so we're gonna play again uh, without intonation and weight with intonation and weight in a bit fast tempo and in a fast tempo so let's see so hopefully I don't need to comment anymore on <laughs> swings rolls and elbows it's really hard to do the piano playing okay so without intonation just again from the bottom to the top look swings as you can see so now let's go a little bit faster so all swings instead of this they become more like this, but still some movement. Maybe even already too fast for this movement. So now let's play in the very fast tempo. Again, all the movements become almost unnoticeable. And uh, I think all I need to just to focus is to know exactly where I move my elbow. So let's say it's these together and third fingers together down okay So this page, if you're in the book, I mean, <laughs> I'm just following my book. Uh, this is uh, they're gonna be like two pages just for the right hand actually. So the first page is without intonation and weight, and the second page with. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Try to connect the gut. Now, all these ornamentations, how they call it, embellishments, I told you, I said it before, treat as a melody, so. Oh yeah. Um, here I'm actually play five five, I think. So elbow again. Okay, now let's play with intonation and weight. Again, if you follow the book, please start following me from the uh, right bottom corner. Okay. So.
down here could be a bit confusing confusing so this arrow elbow to the right D this arrow elbow to the left C low okay so if I play a little bit faster again all the movements might probably become lower but let's see I don't even know actually if I need to play faster <laughs> actually a bit already too fast so if I play very fast <laughs> I guess you're just making all this movement very short. Truly. And here we get the Cantabile singing melody. Okay, let's go to the left hand. Okay, let's just make first the two dimensional uh, without international weight movements. So all great snores are L. Three circles, so here we're gonna move, here we're gonna move, and then here we're gonna move again. Same here, in and out, and in. Basically, I'm gonna move to the end note, so I'll show you again. And the left, uh, as you can see in the book, the left side just shows a regular bar, and on the right side again I wrote bar four, bar number four. So the movements will be a bit different then. Okay. So. And you see this arrow and then the elbow. to say something uh, you see this is staccato like I showed you in the beginning of the video when we have staccato the movement will be altered a little bit but again in the beginning we need to make it as legato and then when we're gonna intonate staccato with uh, speeding up in the second half in between notes then it will naturally create different line but uh, it kind of amazes me because if you make this line from the beginning say a bit artificial or something then it's not gonna work out so let's say here right i'm playing this now if i'm playing staccato look what's gonna happen so it goes kind of this way right to remember I think now let's go to bar number four so here we have let's say we're going down because it's why we start our elbow from the right to the left 
the bass Here, instead of the roll, we have roll up. <laughs> so instead of doing this, we're pushing the elbow straight to the right. We're playing like swing, elbow again, elbow again, and again roll.